Hey there, welcome to Central PA Live. We are back at Park Home in the Park Home Kitchen today. We've got Chef Michael Passanita from Passanitis. We love having you here because your food is absolutely amazing. Awesome. And, and I know this, well, I have not gone to your restaurant. We talked about this, I gotta get there, but you have been a part of the March of Dimes Signature Chef's Auction, and I've always gone straight to your booth because we always know it's gonna be something really, really good. Awesome. And you're gonna make something today for us that people are gonna get to try if they come on over to the March of Dimes uh, Signature Chef's Auction. Right. So I gotta ask you first before we get started, you've been doing it. Almost since it started, right? Well, about 14 years, but mm -hmm. I did part time with when I was at St. Francis okay. University. Now I'm on my own, and this will be my third year. So, wow. So, what do you love about it? Um, it's just a great fundraiser, and they do a, such a great job with their live auctions and, and just all the, the coverage that you guys give and just making the money for the children was yeah. all about and just showing your talents. Oh, yeah. And there we have some talented chefs in our region. Oh, no doubt. For sure. Absolutely. So, we're going to talk a little bit more about the chef's auction. Uh, in a little bit, but first let's talk about this dish that you're going to be making. It's just a chicken carbonara. Um, a classic chicken carbonara has just eggs and the cheese, but like I was telling you earlier, the cheese doesn't come in as fresh, so I add a right. little bit of cream to mine. I add the eggs right in my cream, so it still enriches the sauce, but it's not a true classic carbonara. All right, so let's list those ingredients for folks at home who may want to know what's on here in there. Generally, in a carbonara, too, you use a flat pasta, but I like to be fun and just do a little bit different pasta so you can really make the sauce and make it work for any type of pasta that you want. But it just has a little bit of bacon. I'm going to add some onion, garlic. I pre cook my chicken to make it faster for mm -hmm. TV. And then salt, pepper, parmesan, some grated parm, the eggs, and the cream. And then I add a little more fresh parm at the end. So yes, gotta very love simple that. Dish. All right, so so far you've already started making your bacon. Right, I wanted to have it a little bit crisp. I have a little bit of olive oil in there. And now I'm gonna add my onions. Okay, let's see. You do your magic here. Yeah. It already smells so good. We're starting to get an audience. That's how good yeah. <laughs> it smells here in Park Home. So you've got your onion. Uh, how cooked do you want your onion? I just want them to start becoming translucent. Then I'm okay. going to throw in my garlic. I'll throw in the um, chicken. I'll add my pasta, salt, pepper, parsley, finish with the cream, a little more cheese, and it'll be done. Okay. It's super fast. All right. So why do you do the onion before the garlic and not at the same time? Do well, they... the garlic will... Not a low fat. No, low not fat a meal. low fat meal, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. That's absolutely okay. And you just want to take your onions until they're translucent. Mm -hmm. They don't need to be fully cooked. Because they're going to keep cooking too. As you cook and yeah. as you add the rest of the ingredients. A little bit of garlic. And you add it now, like I said, so it doesn't burn. Mm -hmm. And it really doesn't take long to cook too, no. the garlic. Very and especially, fast. you know, if you would go and get a rotisserie chicken, you could break that down and make a super fast oh. carbonara at home, you know? Oh, that's or you could use a raw chicken, but I cook this. Mm -hmm. You just heat that through. Even if you make the chicken ahead ahead of time. Oh too. yeah, and if you had it left over from like a roast chicken or something at home, you could do that for sure. Love it when you get a lot of one of those rotisserie chickens too. Oh yeah, no doubt. It's a great option. Great way to use it up. I'm gonna add my pasta, okay. and this dish comes together really, really fast. Oh my goodness, the smell in here. And like I said, a classic carbonara, mm -hmm. you would take some of the pasta water, add your cheese, and that, that's what would give you the creaminess. But I added a little bit of egg to this cream. Okay, yeah, because I asked you about the egg, too. Right. I noticed that's kind of You would of mix what... that in and then a little bit of pasta water in your cheese, and that's how you'd make a classic carbonara. Mm -hmm. But this will still give you all the flavors, the richness from the egg. That Just is coming coat together that. really fast, too. Yeah, super fast. A little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. I do my parsley right now. I gotta, I gotta ask you about the the flicking of the, the oh, yeah. pan. How how long did it take you to get that? Well, that you want, <laughs> I learned that you know that was probably probably one of the trickiest things to learn really? in chef school. Really, is it? But you know when you're busy and you got like hundreds of people coming into your <laughs> restaurant. It's much faster. You have to learn that technique yeah, or you're going to fall behind. <laughs> I won't splash it. <laughs> but I, I try it at home. And I just make a mess. You know, you could, try, you could practice like with a little. Actually, I learned with my left hand first because I'm right handed. Oh. And I use rice and I just practice, practice, practice. And that's just how I got the. Wow. So, that's you want to try that? trick at home. <laughs> 
but it comes together much faster. When you stir the sauce or the pan yeah. like that, it helps combine your sauce and all the ingredients, makes it taste fast, and it's very quick. You know, because this is a good, easy weeknight oh, yeah, meal. For it sure. seems so intimidating. No, and it's so easy and it tastes so good. And being that the chicken was cooked super fast, and I'm pretty much done. Oh my you gosh. Know? So. so, how much longer do you kind of let it heat, or do you let the cheese keep melting? I will let that um, cheese melt just a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. I am going to add a little more cream because the, the pasta like absorbs it a little okay. bit. Okay. And the egg helps tighten that up, but okay. it's pretty much done. I'm just going to add the rest of that, turn it around. We can let it sh shut off here, and um, we'll plate it up, and we'll give it a shot. Yeah, pretty much done. That's incredible. And then we'll incredible. add um, some Parmesan cheese at the end. All right. Well, let's plate it up because okay, awesome. I want to taste it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we do have a minute. So while you're plating that up, uh, th let's remind folks that this is going to be a dish that they can try at the March of Dimes Chef's Auction. And uh, yeah, this you is the, the dish that I'm going to do mm -hmm. this year. And you were the winner yeah, last, last year. year. <laughs> Our champ, look at that. That is delicious. All right, so yeah, let me add a little oh, bit of cheese. I'm going to dig in and before then you can dig in. <laughs> yeah. That's just that is a good right touch too. Yeah, nice. All right, so we got the March of Dimes coming up in November. Uh, you guys won last. You won last year. You're doing it again. You're going to do this dish. Yes. Well, how can people go see, go to your restaurant, too? Oh, yeah. Just look on Passaniti's um, Facebook page. It'll take you right to our menu and our number and our hours are on there. Oh, my gosh. And also, um, I'll do the chef package again for the March of Dimes, try to raise a little more money for the event. And they usually pair that with a limo ride and that kind of stuff. So it's mm. usually a really fun time. Yeah, that, that package always like, gets people riled up. All right, so we... Thank you so much for coming here. You're Don't welcome. forget the March of Dimes coming up next um, in November. November, um, the end of November. We'll have all the information up um, on our website. And um, thank you again. I'm going to keep welcome. digging into this. How was it? Oh, delicious. Delicious. Awesome. All right, stick around. We'll be right back.